Well, good evening. Happy Friday night. This is Aaron with Bowtie Treasures. As many of you know, I'm a content creator for Dixie Bell and a brand ambassador for Would You Been Moldings. I'm so happy to be here tonight. I thought it would be nice. Maybe I can uh, show you all a little bit of work I did. Let me see here. This is the hardware. Typical French provincial. Looks pretty good, right? There is the picture I took. I took this picture last night. I had already sanded the right side and I hadn't, is that right? No, I hadn't done any sanding yet. I just took off the hardware on the right side. You can actually see in the picture how there's a light area where the hardware was. That's because when I took the hardware off, the paint was nice and bright white. Um, so anyways, this is, this is going to serve as my before picture when I do it before and after, but, uh, I really can't, unfortunately, I don't think I can zoom in to show you how bad the, the, how thick the, the hardware was, but this is the before picture. The, uh, next picture pretty much shows. So what I did, uh, usually on my hardware, I use Barkeeper's Friend. You can go to my website, bowtietreasures.com. In the shop menu, there's an Amazon page and an Amazon page, you can see that Barkeeper's Friend. Usually Barkeeper's Friend will help me polish up most of my hardware. I rarely paint my hardware. It doesn't mean I don't, I rarely do. Um, but this hardware was caked with latex paint and you just can't Barkeeper's Friend latex paint. So oftentimes or the best remedy is to boil that paint off. So that's what I did. I'm just showing in the pictures the two tools, one, uh, I use a little uh, uh, tool to get the hardware out of the boiling water into the sink. And then I have a little uh, wire scrubbing br brush you can get at a hardware store. I probably have that on my Amazon page too. So this is the hardware before I did any work on it. You can see the paint is all over. It's really thick and it's even dripping into the back of the hardware. Uh, this is just a close-up of how thick that hardware is already warning wearing off. You can see where my thumb's at. It's not really made for metal. So normally what I'll do, and actually you'll see two hardwares in here, but usually what I'll do is I set a timer for three minutes. So I get my, I do half water, half vinegar, and I get the water to a boil. And then I, I set the hardware in there one at a time for three minutes. So usually I wait for the three minutes, pull it out. And while I pull that one out, I put the next one in. And that's pretty much what I did here. I pulled one out and I just set the second one in there. So it takes me, you know, three minutes to clean one while the other ones, this is a nice process here. So the key, keep in mind that as soon as I pull it out of the boiling water with that metal uh, gripper tongs thing, is I just do a really quick run under cold water just to kind of make sure it's not too hot to touch. I am wearing thicker than normal uh, latex gloves just to kind of keep my hands protected. You could probably use some uh, dishwashing cleaning gloves. Just something that you're not going to kind of take care of your fingers. Plus you're using a wire brush and you don't want that scraping up. So my, my gloves are pretty thick. You can already see in the sink there's a pile of white paint building up in the strainer. That's really good. You don't really want that down your sink. And again, this is just to show the strainer, the brush. And so this is this right here. If you look closely, you'll see the paint already kind of just on peeling off the middle part. So this is this is me about ready to scrape it. OK, so I just rinsed it off. This is probably 90% scraped off. Now the French Provincial hardware already has, let's see if it'll show it, already has uh, factory paint. That's still on here. That's not gonna come off very easily because that's baked and um, that's a typical looking hardware. Again, you can see this is probably mostly done, cleaned off, scraped. Overall, there you go. It has a little bit of a copper look, but the white paint's on there now, that's the original color. And so that's how the hardware looks. 
So you can imagine comparing it to the original way it looked. I had really uh, no chance of getting all that paint off without boiling it. So that's how I clean hardware. And to be honest with you, this could be hinges. Anything with caked on latex paint on metal, that's the technique I use. So I hope that helps give you a little bit of help if you ever have some really tricky um, hardware that needs to be cleaned. I've got a few ridges here and there that I'll take maybe a little exacto knife and pick out just any stubborn last little bits that I couldn't get in. But my hardware is all ready to go and, and looking good. Uh, it might serve, it might be good to give it one more just general cleaning. Um, but those are, those are good to go. I hope that was helpful. Again, if you know some people who are struggling with that, uh, pass that part on. And I just wanted to kind of put that in there because that's the project we're working on. If you have any questions, post those. Be sure to share this with a friend that could uh, use some information about cleaning hardware with latex paint on it. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for joining me tonight. I'm Aaron with Bowtie Treasures. Good night. That's the end of the show. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell before you go. Bye.